Have you ever wondered why some people become extremely wealthy while others struggle financially? Why do some people go from having little money to becoming highly wealthy? What makes these otherwise ordinary people succeed while others languish in mediocrity? There are some acts and habits that affluent people follow in order to acquire financial freedom. If you pay attention to some of the easy things that the wealthy do to become wealthy, you too may attain financial success. These are the nine habits of affluent individuals that truly distinguish them, with number one being a behavior that makes a significant difference. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. They volunteer, which is number nine. Don't be misled into thinking that the wealthy are a snobbish, self-centered bunch who only want to eat caviar and drink champagne while sailing around the world on their yachts with their noses in the air wearing designer suits and dresses. According to Thomas Corley's Rich Habits Study, 72% of the wealthy volunteer at least five hours each month, which is a significant amount of time given their busy lifestyles. This could be because wealthy people understand that money does not guarantee happiness. However, it has been stated that helping others and making a difference does. Rich people understand the benefit in volunteering to aid the less fortunate, whereas only around 12% of impoverished people volunteer on a regular basis, and they appear self-centered. Number eight, they believe in the worth of money. Rich people respect value above all else, and they believe in producing value in their commercial activities. They understand that by giving people something important or useful, success and money will follow. For years, while Amazon was still in its early phases, founder Jeff Bezos focused on providing value in terms of service, selection, and pricing, knowing that profits would arise shortly after. When using that formula, having a value-oriented attitude is equally vital when spending. Rather than buying 10 inexpensive pairs of pants, Invest in three pairs of high-quality jeans that will last longer and provide more enjoyment of ownership. Instead of focusing just on the price tag, the wealthy prioritize purchasing excellent products that will last a long time and provide them with value. Remember that the bitterness of inferior quality lingers long after the sweetness of low pricing has faded. Seventh, they believe in education. According to Warren Buffett, knowledge, like compound interest, will accumulate and become exponentially more helpful. Education can take various forms, and it is not limited to college degrees. Buffett stated that when he first started his career, he read at least 600 pages per day, and he now devotes almost 80% of his day to reading. Bill Gates and Mark Cuban both commit time to reading every day. Despite their hectic schedules, however, just approximately 2% of poor people claim to read self-improvement material on a daily basis. Regular reading is vital for maintaining a sharp mind, extending knowledge, self-improvement, and remaining relevant in business. Six, they hang out with successful individuals. Country clubs, high-end resorts, and yacht clubs are just a few of the locations you might expect wealthy individuals to spend their time, and you'd be right. They also spend time with mentors and work with like-minded people with whom they may bounce ideas and collaborate. Being among like-minded people can be advantageous, and listening to other successful people can teach you a lot. Jim Rohn, a motivational speaker, famously claimed that you are the average of the five people with whom you spend the most time. After all, whether we recognize it or not, spending time with folks we care about generally leads to similar thinking and behavior. Wealthy individuals spend time with folks that inspire and motivate them, not those who depress them. Successful individuals that care about you will also push you to pursue your dreams, will congratulate you when you achieve them, and will not blame you if you fail. They don't gamble either. Of course, the wealthy will occasionally purchase a lottery ticket for entertainment purposes, as they are constantly concerned with risk as reward. Instead of wasting money at casinos and playing the lottery every day, the wealthy invest their money in investments that would most likely yield a good return. When it comes to spending their money, the wealthy balance the risk with the potential reward. In terms of value-minded thinking, the wealthy consider not just the return on investment, 
but also the risk associated in order to make informed judgments. Investment decisions are always made after conducting a thorough risk-reward analysis. It's fine to gamble for fun, but they don't see it as a feasible solution to their financial issues. Fourth, they concentrate on possibilities rather than problems. Have you ever been thwarted by an insurmountable barrier to success? Most of us remember how it felt to learn to ride a bike. You probably fell more than once, but you didn't give up because you saw the reward as the other kids rode their bikes and had a great time doing it. Wealthy and successful people look for ways to make money and understand that challenges are only a part of the path. We all have challenges in life, but wealthy people embrace them and see them as opportunities to grow and advance to the next level. Wealthy people set objectives for themselves, and when problems or impediments occur, they figure out a way around, over, or through them, allowing them to keep striving for the next goal. Third, they set goals on a regular basis. Goals are set by athletes, business people, investors, and achievers in all disciplines. Setting goals provides long-term vision as well as short-term drive. Set goals that are explicit, quantifiable, achievable, and time-bound. They influence them in many areas of their lives, including finances, family, physical well-being, attitude, and others. Take the time to record these on a regular basis. According to Dr. Gail Matthews, a professor at Dominican University in California, Simply writing down your goals on a regular basis increases your chances of success by 42%. Writing goals down not only helps you remember them, but it also helps you describe exactly what you want to achieve, holds you accountable, and recalls you when you've accomplished them. The wealthy and successful create goals and commit to making them a reality. Instead of drifting aimlessly through life without focus and falling to the victim mindset, they frequently do nearly anything to accomplish goals. Second, they live within their means. The wealthy understand the value of not spending every penny they make because money saved can be used for business or investments. It is impossible to build your net worth while spending all of your earnings. The wealthy place a high value on investment. If the affluent want to buy something that is not in their budget, they will first focus on increasing their means so that they may make the purchase without spending too much in relation to their income. For example, if the wealthy want to buy a new yacht, they will focus on how to make more money to pay for it rather than splurging or going heavily into debt. They will either boost their business in working income or invest in an income-generating asset, such as real estate or stock. You must find a technique to generate passive income from your savings and investments. First and foremost, they act. Successful people believe in the importance of taking the required actions to achieve their objectives. Instead of sitting around expecting for their aspirations to come true, they go out and do what it takes to make them a reality. Success is the result of doing everything it takes to achieve that goal. This includes making the calls, conducting the research, establishing contacts, and doing the legwork. Others go about their regular lives, squandering time watching TV or procrastinating when they could be accomplishing something. They don't wait for the stars to align either. They understand that the timing will never be ideal. They will have to take a risk. Of course, there is the possibility of failure. Anyone who achieves success has most likely failed at least once, and failure is an inevitable part of the process. You only have one life, so why waste it by sitting around watching TV all day and doing nothing? As we conclude, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found value in this video and learned something new, and I look forward to seeing you in our future videos. I would deeply value it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support will help us to create more valuable content, and we can work together to secure your financial future. What are the key takeaways from this video that you can share in the comment section?